Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we got mo a bunch of minor moons here in the Luncheon Kingdom. Uh, this time we're going to try to finish that off. We're aiming for 55 moons, uh, because one of them is B-side, I'll be doing it in the next video. Uh, so we need, what's that, but eight moons. Uh, okay, eight moons it is. Um, we've done the secret, we've done the sub path, we've done that already. Uh, we want to grab one of these fire bros, but I think we want one that's a bit closer to the plaza. So let's head over that way. <laughs> oh, that was terrible, okay. Okay, so over here near the plaza, uh, there are fire bros just on the other side. So if we just... Basically, we want to head over there again, like we did a little bit earlier uh, in the previous video. Just want to climb up here, and it'll be, that'll do the trick. There we go. We just hop down here. Uh, there's pan bros here. We don't want a pan bro, though. We want the other kind of bro. Uh, also, we want to get damaged for no reason. So, I'm glad that happened. Um, actually, we do want a pound bro, I think. We want to get those stairs fixed. Uh, because I believe we're going to need to need them cleared to be able to get a bro up there. Okay, I'll do the trick. Uh, just do it. Alright, so the fire bros are a little bit further this way. And basically, we need to platform them back over to the plaza. There we go. It's not hard, it's fairly easy to platform your way over. And we did basically the same thing in the previous video anyway, so we already know what we're doing. Um, not a fan of that though. <laughs> I, I may accidentally die from a bit doing silly things, so watch out for that. Uh, you jump, that's the way. Now get bopped with my hat. No, don't, don't jump again. I, I said to get bopped. Uh. Yeah, it's kind of easy to accidentally kill them instead of just capturing them. It's 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 annoying. Um, uh, I think I'll just wait around a little bit. They should respawn, right? Hmm. Okay, they're there now. I guess I have to move a certain distance away or something. Oops. A tomato killed me. I, I was killed by a tomato. Okay, uh, well we're back here, uh, so let's make our way back over there, and this time not forget to hit the checkpoint, so we're going to do this again, um, there we go. Okay, so yeah, first we're going to break these stairs with the, with the pan bro, gonna hit the checkpoint, there we go. It doesn't make any sound if you hit a checkpoint you've already done, but it does actually checkpoint you, you will respawn at the last checkpoint you touch. So, it is handy to do in some circumstances, such as right now. So, yeah, we just want to break all of these so that we have a nice easy path to take. Then we go get a fire bro. Some of the coins that we lost from dying are actually still here, so we can get them. It's cool. See, crossing that gap is actually very easy. I just messed it up because I'm not good at, it, at this video game. Okay, this jump is also very easy, so I'm gonna mess it up because I said that, but no, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, you can take out the other stuff here. You can take out the um, pan brojas in the fire bro, which is a nice trick. You can make your way up here. Uh, just hop over these ledges again, there we go. Uh, let me think. What was I trying to do? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, basically, that fire up there, we want to light it by throwing fireballs at it. Like that. Because there's a moon inside. Very easy. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. yeah! Uh, next up, we're going to head over to the other side of the mountain, where the boss bat like, where the boss battle was. So, to do that, uh, I think we're going to want one of these lava bubbles. Whoa. 
I believe you already did this lantern. I remember doing it. So. That probably means we did it. There we go. Grab a lava bubble. Uh, oh, right. That sub area still needs doing. Oh, jeez. That's scary. Uh, okay, so lava bubbles over here don't really help us. But there's one on the other side we can just use. So, yeah, you get a lava bubble eventually. There we go. And we can use that to swim over to where Captain Toad is. As you can see, that's Captain Toad right there. Oops. I accidentally tapped ZL, so I, I died. <laughs> oh my goodness. I kind of wish that it, like, stopped you from uncapturing when you were swimming in the lava, because it's very deadly. But it would also be annoying in some ways if they stopped you from doing that. So I'm kind of glad they didn't. The reason I'm not using very many homing cap throws, by the way, is that shaking the controller homes, but it also makes me roll because I'm crouching. So it's a bit scary. Uh, okay, there we go. Hello, Captain Toad. Um, well, I think you're stuck here, so... Yeah! There's no easy way to get out in this one, unlike some of the other places Captain Toad gets stuck. Uh, because Captain Toad, Toad doesn't have a hat that he can throw at a lava bubble to turn into a lava bubble. Whereas we do, so... The good captain may have some problems. Uh, okay, so here what we're gonna do is climb up to the top. Uh, we did this earlier. But we're doing it again. Uh... Oh, the race needs doing too. Okay. Uh, we'll get to that. Uh, because where we fought the boss, up on top here, there is now... We just shoot ourselves back up there. There's now a couple of things we can do. Firstly, there's a notes challenge, which we'll be doing first. And badly at that. This is unchanged, I'm just doing it badly. You actually say I have a lot of time, as you can see, so I haven't had too much trouble just yet. Oh my goodness. First try, okay. <laughs> I'm sure I messed that up. Alright, uh, so that's the one one of the two moons we can get here. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -dum -ba, yeah! Uh, the other one we can get is by coming over to the edge of the pot here. If you look straight down, you can see... There's a blue pot there, on top of the, um, slots building. What we have to do is jump from up here to down there. Uh, it may take a few tries because it's very tricky. Uh, see, I just landed right on the edge there. Fortunately, we can just walk back to the top of the peak climb and do it from there, so it doesn't take too much effort to retry. Um, but basically, you just land in that pot and you will get a moon. Pretty simple. Uh, then I guess we'll do the race next. Um, that's five. Uh, then there's the two that we need to do from the sub area, and there's the hint art, and that's eight. And that's everything. So, the sub area is still concerning me. Uh, I think we'll save the hint art for last because we have to leave the kingdom to do it. I don't want to leave the kingdom until I've done everything else I can. Ugh, didn't go, up, didn't go quite far enough. This usually takes me a few tries to get the jump right. Um, it's just, it's very precise. Uh, thankfully there aren't too many other moons to do in this video, which is uh, good because I'm expecting at least the Kapla sub area to take a very long time. Uh, because that area is very, very hard. <gasps> Sits. Unlike some of the other capitalist sub areas in the game, it's based around precise platforming. Like the one with the with the water, it was based around swimming basically, and so it wasn't affected. There we go. Whereas this one is platforming, kind of like in Sunshine sub areas, which are very very hard. <laughs> anyway, ba da ba da ba da ba, yeah. All right. So next we're going to do the race. Uh, you can't walk all the way to the race because it's well, there isn't a flag there, but you can go to the top of the peak climb and just jump down, so... We're just gonna warp our way back over there. 
Uh, basically, the race is to climb, climb, climb to where we're standing now. Um, it's not too hard, provided you don't take a dumb route. Sorry, a, like a bad route. Um, not, not that other word. I didn't, I didn't mean that. Um, provided you, you know, you take, you take the basic shortcuts like that. Um, hawk on the side of the last platform, for example, you won't have too much trouble. Um, but yeah, basically you just start on that salt pile there, and all you got to do is just climb up to the top of the peak there. And none of the coupe, coupe, coopers, <laughs> none of the coopers have a good strat, so we're not going to have too much trouble. Uh, we may have some trouble if I do that though. Yeah, if I accidentally dive places, we're gonna have some problems. Theoretically, they can use all the same strats we can, but they don't, because they're not as good at the game as we are. Even if we keep messing up, which we're doing. Uh... Wow. <laughs> that was terrible. Wow. I was convinced I'd do this in one try, but I, I messed it up. Repeatedly. Alright, let's try again. Uh, this time, hopefully we will suck less. You get the basic idea of what we're trying to do, though. Uh, so yeah. So you can just get all the way over there in one jump like that, which is a much better strat. Uh, then you can accidentally hit those two lava pools and lose all your health. Uh, I would recommend doing that. That's a good way of handling that bit. Oh my goodness. So yeah, here you can just do a backflip to get on top of this part. Another backflip to get up to here. And I'm just going up some more. I love being good at video games. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so the first part was fine, so let's try to do that again, because uh, that was that was good. Just, yeah, long jump, bounce off Cappy, easy peasy. Then here you want to do something like that rather than jumping in the lava twice. Something like that, there we go, that's more like it. Use a dive to get up to here, then you can do a cap bounce to get up to here. I'm going to go this way just because I keep messing up the other route. Uh, yeah, you just get past the fruit. Vegetable there. Uh, and then you can climb up these little platforms. Just another bounce to get around to here. Easy peasy. <sighs> so yeah, um, I believe all of those Coopers take the like slower route, basically, up the mountain instead of using all those back alleys and stuff. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, we're at five moons now. So, if we look at our listing here, uh, there's two in that sub area we need to do. Uh, there's one that's the hint art, and there's one that we'll be doing in a different video. So, basically, all we have to do now is that sub area and the hint art. Um, and the sub area is scary. So, this may be a bit of a tricky proposition. We've also missed a bunch of purple coins. I'm not sure where they are. Uh, I might come back and do a hunt for that off-camera like I did with this with the previous kingdom. Uh, seems to be a faster way of doing things, just to do that bit off-camera. Since it's not that important to the overall game, and I just want to want to have everything 100% completion. Not that 100% completion is going to be possible because of those couple of things we can't ever do because we're crouching. Anyway. We need a love bubble so we can get over to the uh, last sub area we need to do, which is over here on the edge. Uh, scarily easy to fall off, just here if you're not careful. Which is why there's all these coins here to reward you for taking the risk, I guess. So, let's put Cappy there. 
Okay, get ready. <laughs> so the deal here is that these... This whole area is made of these little... Well, big-ish. These rotating platforms. Which... Uh, we have to platform our way across without Cappy's assistance. As you can see, it may be a bit tricky. Um, as you might remember, Mario stops being a plumber when you start rolling. You switch playable characters. And you end up playing as a hedgehog. And as a hedgehog, you will bonk against all of these walls, and you can't stop being a hedgehog until you get onto a nice flat surface. And a lot of these things are curved, and very steep, and we will have trouble unhedgehogging. Uh, however, if we can do something like that first, that's a good start. Uh, really hoping not to have that happen. Okay, so for the first moon, we have to do these nodes. Um, these are normally very easy, uh, but in our run we may have some trouble because we can't really move quickly and precisely. As you can see. Um, so you have to get a couple of notes that are off the side there, and then the other notes are around the edge. And the best way to do that is to grab onto the platform itself. Um, we should be able to do that, but oh my goodness. This is going to be a costly area, I think, in terms of our coins. <laughs> oh my goodness. The timing is, is quite tight for that, um, because if the platform's facing... Well, it's not that tight. Like, if the platform's going the wrong way, though, you're going to not be able to land on it and probably long jump. I should try backflipping. Uh, the thing with backflips is you have very, very little range in a backflip. Uh, but I think it might be enough. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this whole area is gonna be a thing. Let's be clear about that. Uh, I'm a little... I, I could try doing some air dives to get a bit more distance, but the problem with a dive is that it also starts you rolling, and there's no way to stop being a hedgehog until you... because one, as soon as you're rolling at the speed of sound. Uh, because we can't uncrouch, which is the normal way to stop rolling. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think the best way to, to get to that first part is with long jumps. That almost works. So yeah, one of the problems with being a hedgehog is that a hedgehog can't grab ledges at all, uh, as far as I know. Uh, which is interesting because in Mario 64, after doing something like a long jump, you could still grab ledges if you got the lineup quite right. Uh, you could bonk in that game as well, but you're usually okay. Uh, I have not managed to avoid taking damage from that guy. Taking spinies. Alright, so here what you want to do is basically chain your, chain your jumps really quick like that. Uh, Alright, so this part... Okay. So the tricky thing is that this platform moves quite quickly. Uh, and we somehow need to grab onto it, which you can't do very easily. Uh, ah! Yeah, this is going to be a thing. Um... To be clear, this is the slightly harder moon of the two, theoretically. Like, it's the one that has a bit of an extra challenge to do. Uh, although, to get past all these platforming challenges, we may have some trouble too. Oh, hey, there's some purple coins in here, so that's some of the ones we haven't got yet. Uh, actually, is that moon at the end collected? It looks like it might be. It might be because we're far away from it, though. I I'm pretty sure we haven't managed to do this challenge because it's really, really, really hard. Uh, I just used the damage from that spiny to switch to normal jumps for a little bit, which is one of the interesting things you can do with a... Uh, with damage in this game. Okay, yeah, so I can backflip to grab onto that. That does work. I wasn't sure if it would actually work, uh, but it does. Oh. Yeah, you want to be rolling to start with to get the first two notes quickly enough, but... It's very easy to have just roll off the edge after that, so you've got to be careful. Uh... 
Ugh. Mario, do not ground pound unless I want you to ground pound. Okay, yeah, there you can just do a backflip and then a regular jump following it for some reason. I don't know why that works. Okay. So, you want to use your long jump there to basically break the momentum? And then you have to do a backflip to get onto the edge of the platform at the right distance, but it's really, really, really tricky. Oh my goodness. There we go. No, Mario, no! Don't climb up! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, uh, I, think I think we're getting closer. Dudris really wants to climb up instead of hanging on the ledge. Oh my goodness. <sighs> yeah, you get a regular jump after doing the backflip for some reason. I don't know why. Stop climbing up. <laughs> oh my god, Mario. Why are you like this? Nope. What if I just... Oh, hello. Ah. Okay, so I can just stand on the edge of that platform instead of hanging, which is actually much, much easier to do. So maybe... That's the right way to do it. Let's see. I think I'll have enough time to get around there before they vanish. Yes! Oh my gosh. Okay, so that was a challenge, but we managed. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Yeah! Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm gonna just check the moon list and see... Okay, yeah, I haven't got the other moon here yet, that's what I thought. Yeah, actually, I can see from here that it's blue. It's just, it looked a little transparent from back over there. Ah! So, this part is gonna be hard. Um, okay, back to 3000. Basically, yeah, we have to make our way across all of these skewers to get to the other moon. And I'm a little worried. <sighs> and once we've done that, though, we're, we're pretty much home free. The hint art is easy. I don't think any of the uh, B-side stuff is as hard as this, so we should be okay. <sighs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, if we could manage like a regular triple jump more easily, then that'd be a good way to get across here, but we pretty much can't. Um, we have access to triple jumps. You can do a ground pound jump, uh, and then follow that up with a triple jump. You can ca you can cancel backflip and, um, and, um, stuff. You can, you can cancel out of our restricted crouchy jumps by using a ground pound in order to switch back over, basically. Uh, but it's hard. Also, you can't ground pound out of a long jump, which would be really, really helpful, uh, since that would give us a way to stop rolling. Okay. 
uh, the, the uh, spinies won't walk off the platforms by themselves. And we don't have any way to... Oh! Okay. Didn't expect that. I'm <laughs> not sure what just happened there. Um... Oh gosh. So the platforms are rotating, which makes things a bit tricky to line up. Because we can't move very quickly. Uh, oh god. Okay, so backflips are the name of the game here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no! <laughs> well, I have the purples, so... Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is going to be a thing. Um, in case you were wondering, this is going to be a thing. Welp. I was trying to do a dive, but I did a ground pound instead. I went the buttons wrong. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy to fall off again. I don't know what happened last time. Uh, I don't think so. Oh my god! Again, backflips is the name of the game here. Uh, okay. Well, not really, the name of the game is Super Mario Odyssey. While permanently crouching. <laughs> oh my god. No! Oh, I was trying to long jump, but there's not enough room to, to build it up there. Okay, let's not do it with a long jump then. Platforms are fairly forgiving about their sloped surfaces, fortunately. As you can see, you can jump when it's basically on its side already. Oop. Uh, kind of like in Sunshine, uh, with a similar sort of rotating platforms. But... Oh my goodness. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, once we pull this off, the hint art's basically free. It's just this one moon. <laughs> Which is really, really hard. Um, I believe we already have all the purple coins here as well, so it's it's just the moon we have to worry about. I could use an amiibo to heal us up, but I don't think that matters that much. Once you've gone past the three spinies, there's nothing else here that can hurt you. Uh, apart from you know, just falling to your death, which does hurt quite a bit, I imagine. Although, you know, if the bottomless pit, it might not actually hurt at all, because, you know, you just fall forever, you never hit anything, so you're completely fine. Oh my god, that's really scary. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I think if I go from this one, I should be able to do a long jump, maybe? Let's see how, how we go. No! Ah, oh, too, too, too precise. Okay, okay, I think what we will have to do is take the longer route. Going over to the other um, skewer there on the side using using them, um, probably backflips. Oh, really? 
was trying to do it with the slower way with the backflips to try to make it a bit more likely I wouldn't get hit, but no, I still got hit. <sighs> Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's <laughs> <This is> terrifying. Okay. Oh no! I thought the other one would turn a bit sooner, but it didn't. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. That was so close though. This, this is completely possible, it's just really, really hard. <laughs> We do still have access to the dive move, uh, but we're facing the wrong way because we're backflipping. So I'm not sure how helpful it is that we can dive at this point in the game. Oh no! This is ridiculously hard. <laughs> Seriously? Well, all right then. <sighs> there goes Mario. Oh my god. This, this one moon is taking like... It's been like 15 minutes, I think. Oh my god. Oh god, no! <laughs> Long jump, bad. <laughs> Backflip, good. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, so we want to make our way over here first, and then flip. Alright. There we go. No! Really? I got knocked back over the edge. Really? Oh, that's just annoying. God. Alright. It just... This first part remains really hard, and you reset to the beginning of the room every time. Oh, uh, I, I mean, a checkpoint would be nice, but under normal circumstances it wouldn't be necessary, because it wouldn't normally be nearly this difficult. Oh my goodness. So, I, I understand why there isn't one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you have a large amount of air control in this game. Um, I can control fairly well where my backflips are going to land. It's not just a, s a fixed arc of where a backflip goes. Uh, which is good because of what's going on here, and the fact that I basically only have backflips at my disposal. Uh... 
Okay. What am I gonna do with this bit? This is hard. Um. Oh no! Oh! Oh! oh. <sighs> it's just so long, God. <laughs> I was nearly at the end there. Look, if you have a look, you can see that platform I fell off of is right, the one right above Mario's head right now. That one. So close. <sighs> that wasn't close. That was terrible. This may be a really long video just because of this one room. There's one moon, in fact. I got the first one without too much trouble. Oh my goodness. I didn't... I didn't want to ground pound. I don't know why it sometimes wants me to ground pound. I mean, I know I'm holding the button that makes you ground pound, but... Usually it doesn't make you ground pound unless you press the button, and I'm not pressing it, I'm holding it. So, I, I don't know. Okay, okay. This is not what I desire. This is something un un analogous to my my joys. I I'm really worn out. This is taking a lot out of me. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, I really wish I had save states so I could like save time doing that first bit, but. I mean, that would sort of defeat the purpose of the challenge, I guess. Yeah, mostly this game doesn't need more checkpoints than it has, but there's a couple of places that it, I think it should have them. Since the actual checkpoints in the game are, like, invisible, like, like, like in Galaxy 1, and then there's the checkpoint flags that are completely different. It's a bit weird. Uh, okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna do that part. I, I, don't, I don't know how to make that. Because <sighs> they're, bo they're both these little round things. Uh, Mario, no! Okay. Okay. No! Why did you change jump type suddenly out of, out of nowhere? I'm holding the button. Mario! Mario! Where is Cappy? I miss her so much. This would be so much better if, if my, my dearest Cap companion were here. Because I love her with all of my hearts. All, all two of them because I just lost one by getting hit. Well, I lost another one. With all of my one heart that I now have. Yeah, this one challenge is going to make the video really, really long, just because it's so hard. Sorry about that. Um, oh my god. Because, yeah, if we had access, access to Cappy here, we could do some cap bounces and stuff, and we'd basically have normal controls, despite crouching. But because we don't have access to Cappy, uh, everything is way harder. Um...
Oh no! By the way, you can fall between those platforms where the little skewers are. You can still fall through that, so... You know, watch out for that! <laughs> I'm so sick of this room. <laughs> oh my god. No! <sighs> so the platform just turned there with me on it and just flung me off the edge, basically. <sighs> Mario, you're supposed to change direction when I push the stick in the other direction. <sighs> you can probably hear that I'm getting annoyed. Maybe I should go do the hint art and come back to this, but... Uh, it's the last moon I've got to do here. It must be- it must be possible. It's gotta be a way. Maybe ground pound jumps are something I need to think about. No! Yeah, basically Mario's moveset sucks in this game without Cappy. Like, I mean, it's good. It's-, it's you've got a lot of moves, even without access to Cappy, but... Uh, she's just so good. She's just... The game is just so magnificent when she's on your head and you can throw her and you can bounce off of her and... Oh, she's such, such, such a great character and I love her so much. Um, and I want her to be in every game, regardless of whether Nintendo made it. Just every game. Celeste, but, 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 but Madeline's wearing Cappy. It sounds cute to me. I, w I, w I would play that. I would play Regular Celeste too, because it's a great game. Okie doke. No! Okay. Thanks, I will, maybe. No! Mario! Mario's just like, I'm, I'm gonna roll off this edge now because you're holding the crouch button. That's what you wanted, right? And I'm like, no, Mario. I, I, I wanted you to stop rolling and, and stay put just before you went off the edge there. You silly boy. That's how I talk about Mario. I call him a silly boy. Because that's the kind of boy he is. Okay, there we go. Well, that was a pointless risk. Oh my god. I need a long jump. I think I need a long jump through those three rings, but I don't know if I can do that. They're just so far away. <sighs> the platform rotating gave me more momentum and pushed me past the other platform. Oh, come on! <sighs> Head's starting to hurt. <laughs> no! Alright, stop it! 
Stop. 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 Stop being terrible. Where is Cappy? Oh my god. Oh my god, stop ground pounding on things. I don't want you to do that. I'm not pressing the button. Seriously, you'd stopped. What it... Uh. See, he's not ground pounding when I just jump around like this. Which is the same controls I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just doing a backflip. But it just becomes a ground pound for no reason. I mean, I know I'm holding crouch. So, you know, that's the that's the button, but I'm not pressing it. And under normal circumstances, it doesn't make me do the thing I don't want to do. But sometimes it does. Like there, for example. Oh my god. I know, I know, I know. I'm getting, I'm, I know I'm getting annoyed. I know, I know. I don't, I don't sound sound cute. I know I sound annoyed. I'm sorry. Oh my god, Mario. He's still doing it. Why is he doing this? Okay. Yes, it is. Peach. I'm, I'm showing you a peach amiibo. I'm holding it. <sighs> nope. <sighs> Friggin' motion controls. <laughs> Why? There we go. Alright. I do have the other two amiibos with in-game effects. The um, Bowsette one and the Mario one. The invulnerability from the Mario one maybe would help here because I keep getting hit in dumb ways. But I think... Sorry, no. In, in unpleasant ways, I guess. So, but... I don't think it's going to help that much because... I'm mostly getting through here without actually dying to these guys. With a few exceptions, obviously. It's the platforming that's hard, and none of the amiibo actually help you with that. Which is kind of weird. I think they would, but they don't. I wonder if Teddy got assist mode here would help. Um, I know that in assist mode you don't fall instantly. You take one hit, one point of damage, and then you get to keep going. Um, and if you stand still, you actually heal all your damage as well, which is kind of amazing. Um, so, I don't know if it also... I know it makes some other changes as well, like longer timers in certain areas of the game. Uh, I don't know if it would help here. It might. Uh, assist mode is allowed in this, in this challenge. I haven't ruled it out. Uh, but I haven't used it yet, and... I'm a little reluctant to start, as you might expect. Alright. Ba -da -da. I'm so tired of this song, honestly. Oh my god, Mario! I wasn't- I wasn't ground pounding! I did not tell you to ground pound! Why are you always undermining me with your plumber face?
Oh my god. Okay, so how do I get back over there? It looks it looks far. But maybe not too far, I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did it! Yes! But I'm gonna Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, that was so hard! Oh my gosh. Okay, we're now going to do the hint art, and then we'll be done for this kingdom, for the A-side. We're opening the moon rock next video. Oh my gosh, that was so hard. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so to get the hint art, we need to go back to the seaside kingdom. So we're going to walk over to the Odyssey. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Gonna cash in these few moons, including the hardest moon in the run so far. My goodness. I think we have to go back to uh, Bub Lane for a moment. In order to get that hint art. Uh, probably shouldn't skip the cutscene, it's gonna just show a little loading screen anyway. There we go, a little loading screen. There goes the Odyssey. The Pixel Odyssey is really, really cute, so that's something. <laughs> anyway, uh, the hint art, I'm just gonna bring it back up in the album here so we can have a look at it. Uh, as you can see, it's one of these areas with the coral and stuff and a bunch of ledges and we ground pound the top one, basically. Um, I don't remember exactly where that is, but we'll just go over swim around and look for it. Uh, if we just go back to the game now. And re-crouch, because going to the home menu is one of the things that makes it forget you're crouching. Which is a bit annoying. If you want to look at the home menu for something like a hint art, for example. Uh, I think it's over at the other end of the, of the building, the kingdom. The, the deep end, basically. Mario, I didn't tell you to ground pound. I know it's not as much of a problem here as it was in that previous area, it was a big problem. Here it should be okay. Hi cuties. Mm. I'm tired. I'm definitely stopping after this video because I am exhausted. Especially after that last moon, because that one was just excessive. Let's get back some of the coins we lost. Okay, so if we dive down, I think it's just here somewhere. You can see there's a bunch of similar looking coral formations. Um, I think it's that one. The one in front of us there. Uh, so we just ground pound on the top of this and we should be able to get the moon out. Yep. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. And with that, the Luncheon Kingdom is A-side complete. Oh my goodness. It was hard, but it was possible. And we did it. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Just cash in this one moon. It's gonna have changed color. Now it's purple. It's really a, a cyan moon for a mum. Lunching Kingdom, but it still shows up purple, who knows. And we'll head back over to Lunching Kingdom again. <sighs> so in this video we got 8 moons, in the previous video we got 16 moons, but this one is like twice as long because we did the hardest moon in this video. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyway, here we are on Mount Valbono again. Uh, Cappy's noticed the moon rock, as you can see. She's right, we're gonna go check that rock shortly. Um, but for this video, we're about done. Uh, 55 out of 56, the last one we'll be doing on the, in the next video. It's really part of the B-side. 
and we'll also do all the other base side moves. I don't think any of them are going to pose a huge challenge compared to what we just did. Um, I believe they're all not capless, but I could be forgetting. Uh, but I think that video should be pretty easy compared to this one. We'll see. Also, this is really cute. <laughs> Jumping on the Odyssey's globe, depending on which kingdom you're in, will play either a lullaby remix of the Fossil Falls theme or of Jump Up Superstar. Uh, I believe if you're in the second half of the game, it's Jump Up Superstar, but if it's the first half of the game, it plays Fossil Falls instead to avoid spoiling Jump Up Superstar. Even though the title theme is also Jump Up Superstar. So, I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you weren't too frustrated that I just sort of fumed at the game for a while there. Um, I'm glad I managed to pull it off. It felt really good actually when I finally reached that last moon. Or well, second last moon, but you know the one. You know the one I'm talking about. We all saw the same video. I mean, I didn't. I, I made the video, but you, 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 you get the idea of what I'm saying. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, thanks for watching. Baby Mario is sleeping. Let him rest. <laughs>